It's a really good question. I'll start. Oh, man. Um, I, I, I think maybe uh, being a parent and praying with your children is one of those moments for me. Uh, I, I love I love uh, teaching my kids. Last night before I left to go out on the road, I, I gathered my wife and my two daughters. I have a son who's in graduate school, but I have uh, two daughters at home with my wife, and we gathered in our bedroom, and we had a time of Bible reading and devotion, and we prayed together before I left to go out on the road. We try to do that as much as we can when I'm at home. And I think, because the Bible says when you train up a child in the way it should go, that when they're old, they won't depart from it. So for me, investing in my children and in the next generation, my wife and I teach a senior high Bible study we have for about 10 years. And I get a real uh, charge. I feel like God is smiling when we're forgetting about ourselves and investing in the next generation of, of Christ followers. You got something for this? Yes. Okay. I grew up without a dad. I grew up in a single parent household, so the most important thing for me once I get off of the road is being a dad and a husband to my wife. Because I feel like I get to raise the next generation up. I know I didn't have a lot of guidance, so hopefully when my son is like, hey, my brakes were busted on my car, what should I do? I can show him how to fix the brakes and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Man, I gotta agree. That's an that's a amazing question, by the way, dude. Um, I think I have to echo that by saying a father and a husband, because there just really is no more important job for us in that, in that situation. And God is so good and so faithful, and uh, other than that, I think just being a small part of being able to be a small part of what God's doing in this generation is easier to be able to speak and communicate to music. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Are you lost? Are you lost your way That's how you feel. You just don't be your salad on stage. You just don't be your salad on stage. It's your mic will take it, everybody. Mic will take the news for you. You're going to stop. Pat, so have you got to talk to your salad? Hey, salad, uh, any questions, Nick? No. I'm going to speak to you. That's ridiculous. Now, and, and if you have questions, obviously, about the paper, you know, Jim, I can take and take those questions. Yeah, I got a question right here. Hi, how you doing? Who's your question for? Okay. Let's see what I turned around here for you. You got your seat, right, Jim, man?